welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do an illusion. The illusion is really simple, and you'll see what it is if you don't know what it is. So, yeah, let's do this, and let's get started. So, for the illusion, you'll be basically doing a cartwheel, but with one leg and without hands. Well, you'll be kind of using hands, but... So, to train yourself, you always have to stretch. So, you'll be using your legs a lot. So, and you just want to do this like you were going to do a split. Oh, yeah. You just stretch and do the rainbow. I say, I told you how to do this a lot. But yeah. So, you just want to do the rainbow. And the side that feels more comfortable for you is the one you're supposed to do. So yeah, now you're going to be moving on to your split, and that will be simple. This is our split. Wait, um, sorry. Yeah, this is the split. And if you can do the split, then yeah. Now it's time for the illusion. So normally you should know how to do a cartwheel before you do your illusion. This is a cartwheel. <laughs> Maybe it was not good. This is the cartwheel. This is the last time I'm going to show the cartwheel. Yep, that is the cartwheel. Okay, super last time. Just cartwheels are so fun. But yeah, let's move on. So for stretching and the illusion, you'll basically be doing this. Of course, you're not going to be touching the the floor with your hands, but you just want to do this still, what I'm doing right here. Do this pose like in a downward dog. That feels that better. And then just lift your leg. Yeah. And the one that feels more comfortable, the foot that feels more comfortable for you is the one you will use. For me, it's the left, because you can choose the point. So the illusion, this is um, basically what the Skill will feel like and look like, and this is the movement you're going to be doing. So, yeah, it's basically just a twist, and then yeah. So, if you can't really do it, well, you want to start with your hands, like that. Yeah. So, you just want to do something like this. It's okay if you don't land correctly, and because the illusion, you don't have to land so perfectly. Yeah, it's just basically that. When you think you've done it with both hands, do it with one hand. Yeah. This is kind of how you're going to land. That's how you're basically going to land. Um, if you can't really do that, well, just can't, you can try that out. So you can get lots of spin twists. And when you think you can do it with your, toy, with your toes pointed, then do flat. So yeah, you can do something like that. Now we're moving on to the perfect illusion. So I told you, you're going to start off with two hands, then with one hand. And so that's it. When you think you can do it, just get awesome and strong and excited. But then you can do it without hands. But this is something you want to notice. You can't just do your illusion like this. No, that is not an illusion. You want to bring your head down towards. Uh, it's okay if you get dizzy, but um, still just. Yeah. So this is what it's supposed to look like when you first try and when you've mastered the thing with both hands and one hand, that's what it's supposed to look like. When you can do it better than that time, this is what it will look like. Like that, something like that. And this is when you can do it almost perfect. And this is perfect. Yep, that's perfect. And yep, that is it. So that was it 
for the video. I hope you enjoyed. The illusion seems complicated, but it's actually really easy. A lot of people will do this, but it's so hard, but it's actually really easy. And remember, keep perfect.